Hey there, I had a question about how to alter the glitter on one of my mock-up files, so I thought I would show you how to do that real quick. So down here we have the layer with the glitter on it, and this is for my stemless wine glass with glitter. If I duplicate that folder, all I did was I grabbed one and I dragged it down onto this icon down here that looks like a folded over page, and that makes a new copy of it. So then I'll open up that folder. We have the color layer and we have the glitter layer itself. What you want to do is on the glitter layer you want to click on the black box. This is actually a mask. And then all you have to do is select the area that you want to disappear. Like maybe this portion. Make sure you're on the mask and then you want to fill it with black. And you're done, <laughs> but you probably want to refine this a little bit. So for one thing, you might want it to be a little bit curved and not so straight. So if you grab your pen tool and you zoom in, you can click in the upper left corner and then click in the upper right corner and hold and then drag out and just drag this around. You have to kind of figure out how this works if, if you're new to the pen tool until it looks like a nice curve. And then hover over the little blue square here and hold down your option key on your Mac. And your mouse cursor icon turns from a line into like a little carrot shape. You click and then just click up here in the middle and then click over on the other side to snag the other end and make a completed circuit basically of this, um, this line. And then we want to turn this into a selection. We do that by pressing Command Return on the Mac. I think we could also have done that another way. Um, do, 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 if we went into um, Paths, and we had our Work Path, and if we clicked on this little guy, it looks like a path like we started with, and if we click on the icon next to it, it looks like dotted lines. So that's another way. To get that shape. Now again, I'm always double checking that I'm I'm on the mask part. I'm not on this square. I'm on the black square. Selected. Um, we have our shape. What we're gonna do is just fill that with black again, and then deselect. It got a little funky right there, but that's okay because we're gonna do more to this. So again, on the mask layer, go up and grab a brush. Go into your brushes and find something like in your dry media brushes. You, I think these come automatically with um, Creative Cloud. Find a brush that's kind of rough. I found a cool charcoal brush in there. And you want to snag that and then go over to your picture. And you can alter the size of the brush by hitting the bracket key on your keyboard. The right bracket makes it bigger. Left bracket makes it smaller. And um, then you can just go in, I'm going to zoom in even further, and make sure you you have black because we're painting, painting black onto this mask. And remember, that's going to hide bits of the, the glitter. So I can kind of correct this weird bump that was in here and make my way across. And just by adding a little texture, it looks a little bit more realistic like actual glitter wouldn't have a perfectly perfect of straightest of edges. Um, so this just makes it look better. If you make a mistake, like oops, you can hit undo or you can go into your history and you can go back up a step or you could even just paint over it in white and then that will hide your, your mistake. And there you go. This actually is a little dark. I was playing with that earlier. But that's how you can alter the mask in files that are ready made by me. Hope this helps. Happy selling.